Color Collector Shuki here. Another vlog already? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, th this isn't just like a, a normal vlog or anything. Uh, I'm, I'm doing an unboxing. I haven't done an unboxing in a very long time. Uh, so I'm finally, uh, finally back to do one. Uh, so I'm going to title this one a little bit differently. Um, the, the second half of the title, that's after the little line thing. Uh, I always put review, uh, or, or what the title of the toy that I'm doing is, and then review at the end. Uh, for vlogs, I normally just put vlog on it. Uh, but I'm going to start titling the specific vlogs so that people know kind of what they're getting into before they click it. So this one will be titled Unboxing Vlog since I'm doing an unboxing. Uh, if I do like toy hunts, it'll be toy hunt vlog and stuff like that. The reading your comments is just called reading your comments. Uh, and, and stuff like that. So you'll kind of know in advance what the vlog is because the vlog's always going to have some witty title or something that you might not be able to figure out what it is. So I'll say what it is after the title. So yeah, thought that was all right. So uh, yeah, I've got a absolutely huge box uh, right here. Like that. Look at that. That huge box. Huge box. <laughs> uh, and so story time. Uh, when I decided not to buy build toys uh, for that whole month that that idea lasted, um, there really wasn't a whole big reason for me to ship anything from HLJ. Um, I was getting some Pokemon stuff here and there, but I already had such a big Pokemon backlog. Uh, Q-Ranger was done after Kojishi Voyager, and I wasn't getting build stuff, so there really wasn't a huge reason for me to ship anything. And there was like one or two Ultra Capsule sets, maybe. Uh, so, like, like I said, there really wasn't a huge reason for me to ship anything. But, uh, now that I hopped back onto the Choo Choo Build train, uh, I, uh, I amassed quite a lot of stuff. So, um, let's, let's dig in. Let's dig in. Uh, let me bring this a little bit closer. And... Honestly, just hope for the best. Um, this spans much larger than my reach, uh, so this will be this will be pretty interesting. Uh, I think. Oh my gosh, Bella, you're gonna get whacked in the head. I promise you that. All right, so we have minute amounts of packing material because there's so much stuff in here that uh, they didn't need to use a whole lot. And yes, this was very expensive to ship. The, the benefit of the private warehouse is that you pay less for shipping because you can ship whenever you want to. The downside is, is when you get a haul as big as this that spanned about two months, it's very, very expensive to ship. Uh, so yeah, we'll just kind of go through this. I'll run out of room to put things, uh, so this will get this will get pretty interesting, pretty quick. Uh, so this is the television issue that comes with the TV full bottle. Uh, right there, it's it's one of the crappy ones that like doesn't even have a shaker in it. Um, so I'm I'm very disappointed about that, but I still needed it anyway. So we got that. Um, I did pick up the Momotaros one from a Baiyi auction, or rather a Yahoo Japan auction that I got through Baiyi. Uh, so I, I got the Momotaros one, I got the Santa and Cake ones, and I got the Parka and Nobake uh, ones. So I got those three uh, full bottle related things. I still haven't picked up an X-Aid full bottle, the, the normal Legend Rider one. Uh, just because those are kind of hovering around 30, 35, and I don't want to pay that much for a full bottle. Uh, so I'm still kind of waiting on that and hoping hoping the price goes down eventually. But, which is weird because, like, there's two versions of that. You would think that it wouldn't be as much, but, I don't know, it is what it is. Is this? No, that's an Ultra Capsule set. There's another. Here it is. There we go. Alright, so Z Crystal sets. Um, I still do plan on doing videos for these, but this is set 4, the Kiawe set. And set 5, the Gladian set. So there's those. And then we finish off the collection with this lone little two pack of Como and uh, uh, Mimikyu. 
So we have all of the Z crystals now except Ultra Necrosium. I think that's what it's called. Uh, and I assume that'll probably be either some weird Takara Tomy campaign thing or uh, included in a figure. Because they, they did that a couple times with the Alolan Raichu and the Pikachu. Uh, they, they included the Z-Crystal with the Mongkali figure, the big, cool uh, Z-Move one. So they might do something like that with Ultra Necrozma, just because he looks really cool, and him in a Z-Move pose would be a really cool figure. So they, maybe they'll, they'll include it through that eventually. Uh, let's get this big boy out of the way. Uh, this is the GEM release of Ash and Ash Greninja. Right there, so really cool. I'm glad that the GEM series for Ash, anyway, finally ventured beyond Kanto Johto. So we have Kalos Ash right there. You can get a better look at everything right there. So very cool. I love these GEM series uh, releases. They're, they're very cool. Uh, a little bit pricey, this one. This one has a lot of wasted packaging, uh, to be honest, but... Hey, it is what it is. You gotta... You gotta make your stuff look flashy. Um, moving along with the Pokemon stuff, we have May. I forgot what the English one is. Hilda, maybe? But May's a better name. Anyway. So, with, with Snivy, the player character from... Uh, this is... Black and white, too, if I remember correctly. So, very cool. These are also really great statues. This is the third in the series after, uh, no, fourth. Fourth? Serena came out, right? I I'm getting very lost. Did Serena come out? I think Serena came out. So, this will be the fourth in the series. So, we had Red and Pikachu. We had May and Mudkip, I think. Mudkip, Torchic. One of those. And then uh, Serena with Fennekin, I believe. So those are very cool. Continuing with Pokemon, we have the Figma of Red. Is this like a DX? Nope. This is just a normal, normal release. So um, the Figma of Red. I apologize for the, the glare. Um, if I turn my monitor off, there's still a glare coming from the window, but... It's a little bit better, I guess, but... Anyway, so Figma Red is here with Charmander, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur. So very cool. Uh, Figmas are great. Figmas are great toys. Very much looking forward to opening up that. Now I'm very dark, but we'll deal with that for now as we go through this. Um, I really like the package for this one. This is the Nendoroid release of Ash with Pikachu. Uh, and... I just picked this up because I'm a Pokemon nut. I, I very much needed. And it's like the 800th Nendoroid or whatever. So that's really cool. There's also this stupid thing. Uh, I can't reach it. This is so long, this box. Oh, this is Lily. <laughs> I forgot. This was the oldest thing in the box. Lily came out about two months ago. Uh, so I'm just now getting a hold of Nendoroid Lily with Cosmog. Very, very adorable. I want a Nendoroid of Lily in her second outfit. Because that's the outfit I prefer for Lily. I love Lily. Great character. Um, where's the other thing? There's another, another thing. Here is the GEM Lily. Again, a Lily with... Her original outfit, but this is literally based off of the animation. The GEM series is all based off of the Pokemon anime. Uh, so this is literally out of the cartoon, so her animation style is a little bit different. She does include the Alolan Vulpix, as seen in the series. So, very cool. So we have two GM releases. This one's a little bit older, too. There was like a month of Lily, where just a bunch of Lily stuff was releasing. Which is perfectly fine. I dig that. Is this it? Nope. I'll get to that. <laughs> so much stuff. This is what happens when you don't ship for two months. So much stuff. I was expecting something a little bit bigger. Uh, this, is, <laughs> this is really dumb, but it was only like $8. So I, I picked it up. Uh, this is a Nendoroid... 
face parts case. And so it, it's a, a Pikachu body, and then you could put faces of the different Nendoroids that you buy in here, so it's like that character is dressed up as a Pikachu. Uh, it, it's very strange, but again, it was only like $8, so decided to, to grab that, and I'll, I'll review that when I review Ash. I'll just put them in the same video together. Uh, where's three? Here's just a lot of packing material, I guess. Finding more packing material as time goes on. There it is. It's way in the back. Uh, no. Come back. Alright, so this is a box of the Sodo Build 3. And at the time of this recording, I haven't gotten to the Sodo Build sets, but I will be doing them very shortly. Uh, so Build 3 and Build 4 are here. Build 5 comes out this month. There's basically a set of these coming out every month. Um, but I have the, the sets, not the boxes. The boxes come with 12. And this is basically just what retailers get when they order them. Uh, and so the, the sets on HLJ are cheaper, but they include one of each thing. Uh, whereas these are 12, I don't want to say randomly assorted, but just a pack of 12. And so, with these sets, there's usually only six or seven in a set, so you end up with a bunch of extras I'm going to have to unload. Uh, but the sets don't give you any extras, so they're, they're cheaper. Uh, these are about 30-ish, and the, these sets are about like 20, 22-ish, somewhere around there. Uh, so they're, they're a lot more affordable to go for the set route, so... The, the upcoming ones will be sets. For some reason, 2, 3, and 4 didn't have set versions. Um, I thought maybe HLJ just didn't stock them, but no, they just flat out didn't have set boxes uh, for, for those for, for some reason or another. So I'm not really sure why. Build 3 might be because Cross Dragon uses the dragon half of Build as a base body. He's not a full figure, so they might have avoided a set so that they didn't have to put two dragon parts in a, a set case thing. Uh, for 4, I have no idea why they didn't do it but anyway um we also have the i love this box so much the figure art of sora and i've been looking forward to this release for a while now kingdom hearts is one of my favorite video game series of all time and this figure just looks very very cool i have been very tempted by the i think it's a play arts release uh of some sort at gamestop of kingdom hearts 3 sora but um, I'm holding out hope that they do Kingdom Hearts 3 figure arts. Because I'd honestly just much rather have a figure art release. But looks very good. The sculpt on this is just amazing. So I might get around to reviewing this. I don't know. My interest in reviewing figures is very low. So we, we will see. But I'm um, very happy about that. I have Donald on pre-order. Uh, Goofy. Should be up for pre-order pretty soon, if not already. I don't remember what I have and what I don't. But uh, I think Goofy went up for pre-order, yeah. So I have them on pre-order. I will be getting any Kingdom Hearts figure arts they release, uh, for sure. Because like I said, one of my favorite video game franchises. Definitely want to support figure arts versions of those. Um, we have, this is actually for Cat. This is just a Mimikyu uh, keychain. little plush keychain of Mimikyu's face. So that's for her. Uh, she loves Mimikyu. I have a Snorlax version right here. So now I got Snorlax's face as a little keychain. I'm amassing a lot of Snorlax stuff. Um, Moncale releases. We have three. We have Crabrawler, Tapu Bulu, and Nilego. So there's Tapu Bulu. There's Nilego, and there is Crab Brawler. So those are our new Moncale releases over the past two months. We have, this is probably one of the newest things uh, in the box, uh, is the uh, Ultra Capsule Special set. And this is a set of all of their various movie forms. <laughs> Because the uh, the G movie is coming out pretty soon. So they're like, oh, let's celebrate with movie forms. So uh, we have Ultraman Saga, which comes from, uh, I think, the last Zero movie. 
Uh, we have Ultraman King of Victory. We have Ultraman X. What was X's movie form called? Uh, Beta Spark? Beta Spark. So the Beta Spark armor from the X movie, which I still haven't watched, unfortunately. And then Ultraman Orb, Orb Trinity from the Orb movie, which I have watched, which was very enjoyable. I love Orb a lot. <laughs> so, uh, very excited to have that. This is the last retail Ultra Capsule release. Uh, there is one more uh, Gashapon Capsule set coming out, set 5. And then after that, I'm pretty sure the Ultra Capsule line is done. And we will see what new stuff they have in store uh, for July, when the new Ultraman probably debuts, because that's when it's been happening uh, as of late. But for now, we're enjoying Ultraman Orb again, which I'm okay with, because Orb is great. Uh, but anyway, uh, everything else in this box is catch-up on build time. So we have uh, Rabbit Tank Sparkling right here. Very excited to play with that. I love the concept of that. Uh, we have a uh, cross charges vinyl figure because I wanted all of the various cross uh, figures. The Phoenix Robo full bottle set. We have the Kaizo Kuresia full bottle set. Does it actually say Restia anywhere on this actual package? I don't think they do. But yeah, it, it's apparently Res Restia. Instead of Russia, I mean, it is Russia. They just Romanized it. Russia, which is a fair Romanization. Just. Ah, Toei is weird. Toei is very weird. We got two more over here. We have the x full bottle set. And the Octopus Light full bottle set. Should be twisting these the other way. There we go. So we have those. And then we also have the... Uh, Metal and Yujo full bottle set for O's and Forze. And unfortunately, HLJ was sold out of the double set uh, when I decided to jump back into build stuff. So I still have to hunt one of those down. Uh, they're all right price on eBay and stuff. They're just a little bit more than I would like to pay for these because I get these for like $8 off of HLJ. So, like, paying 16 off of eBay ticks me off a little bit, but um, I, I will get one so that by the time I get to the x one, I'll have the double one to slot in right where it goes. And, of course, last but not least, we have the Splash Driver right here with the jellies. Uh, very excited to check this out. Not super excited about the toy in general. Uh, just because it, it suffers from the typical second rider belt syndrome where it doesn't have full compatibility with the main gimmick, uh, which can be kind of a, a pain in the butt. So I'm not super excited about it, but uh, I like the characters that use it quite a bit. And uh, the concept of the jellies, I think, is a really cool thing to go along with. The, uh, the bottles. So we have bottles, we've had cans, and now we have pouches. So we have like every form of uh, like consumable liquid-esque thing that uh, that Japan has. We're like a jar away from from like completing the quadfecta or something like that. I don't know what Japan has, but I know these little jelly packets and stuff are very, very popular in Japan. So, uh, And then the last thing in here is the Detail of Heroes Say the Go for Q Ranger. Q Ranger did well enough to to warrant an actual Detail of Heroes book. And it's very weird to me because like I'm used to these coming out so late. Um as they normally come out in March for for the Rider series. So X Aids will come out probably around March, February, March, April area of of 2018. So, I'm really looking forward to that one a lot. But, uh, yeah, so Q-Ranger isn't even done yet. And here we are with the, the full detail, hardcover Detail of Heroes release. So, very excited the fact that uh, Sentai is getting this now. I think it's really cool, and I hope it continues for Lupin Ranger and uh, Patranger. Uh, I think that's just kind of a really cool thing. I love these books to death for the Rider ones. And very much looking forward to looking at the Q-Ranger ones. Q-Ranger is probably my favorite Rider, Rider Ranger design we've had in quite a long time. Probably since Go Busters. 
Uh, so I'm very, I'm very happy that uh, it apparently warranted this book. So very much looking forward to that. And that is it for this box. I won't say that is it because this was a lot. Like I said, this was a span of about two months uh, of stuff. And honestly, if it wasn't for the Pokemon stuff, I'd actually wouldn't be a terrible amount of stuff. But yeah, the the Pokemon Pokemon onslaught hit pretty hard <laughs> over the last two months. Uh, December was a big release month for Pokemon toys. But uh, yeah, so that uh, is that. Very, very happy to take a look at all this. Uh, real quick before I go, I just want to let everyone know kind of what the schedule of things uh, is going to be like. Um, this should go up on a Thursday, I believe. Tuesday will be the Cross Dragon. Wednesday will be the Beat Closer and the Lock Full Bottle. Uh, so this will probably go up on Thursday. So starting tomorrow on Friday... Uh, basically, I'm going to be doing one of these backlog build items, and then the next day I'll be doing a Q-Ranger item. And then the next day I'll be doing another build item, and then the next day another Q-Ranger item. Once I'm done with the six, I think, Q-Ranger videos that I have to do, I'll be moving on to Ultraman Jeed. So then it'll be build toy, Ultraman Jeed, build, Jeed, build, Jeed, until I'm all caught up with Jeed. And if my math was right, I should be concluding that right around the weekend that Lupin Ranger and Pat Ranger uh, decide to, to air on the 10th of February, I think. So I should be getting those toys probably around the 13th or 14th. Happy Valentine's Day to me, I guess. Uh, so very much looking forward to that. Uh, so yeah, we should be kind of caught up by around Valentine's Day. And from there, I haven't quite decided what I want to do. Uh, I'm I'm thinking I might uh, go ahead and do like every other day videos. Um, but I, I haven't quite got there yet. But like I said, we're still about a month away from that happening. So I got a lot of time to think. But until then, continue to enjoy one video a day until we take care of this backlog. Uh, so I, I'm having a blast. It, it's nice to, to want to record again and and have fun doing it. Uh, and, and like even when the item I'm reviewing isn't that cool, like the Pandora panel or or the Build-A-Phone, I'm having a good time like just kind of making fun of the item. So I'm finding ways to make even the most boring of items fun. So uh, definitely happy to uh, to have my groove back, so to speak. Uh, Milo is very angry because there's toys in his sitting spot. Uh, so I will clean this up, and that is that. I think that's about all I wanted to say. So uh, thanks for joining me on this unboxing, and uh, look forward to all the cool stuff to come. So as always, thanks for watching. Take care, and have a great one. Bye.